How's it going everyone? In this video here, I'm going to show you how I got to this point with the most uh, accurate and up-to-date records for each team, uh, along with how I initiated the trades to allow the picks to come over with the players, because everybody knows the most up-to-date roster right now is going to push you up to the preseason, which means you won't have the correct practice squad players or the correct um, picks. Those picks are based off uh, when the game initially came out in August. So the draft picks aren't coming over for any of the trades. So I'm going to walk through everything from that perspective there. Okay. The first thing I want to make sure is kind of show everyone how I did this. Uh, I started from the preseason. I didn't really care too much about what the records were in the preseason. But in the regular season, I went ahead and simmed every game based on what happened uh, in, in real life. Now, the re scores aren't going to happen. The stats aren't going to come over, unfortunately, which is very tough at times, but it is what it is. You know, it's, for me, it's about making sure I can get the right record based on the draft uh, to kind of make that work. So I went through each one and uh, I'll, pro I'll show uh, kind of like the league settings on how I got this done to not only allow any injuries to occur uh, in practice and uh, during the game, uh, and we'll, we'll kind of just talk through that as well. So in order to get what you want here, as far as the trading and everything, the, the, the players are already there. They're all on the right teams. That, that from what I saw right there, they're most of the players or all of the trades and, and the movements and stuff are there. The only thing that won't be the same are the practice squad players. All the practice squad players are in the free agent market. Okay, so that's the thing you want to take into account first. You're not going to be able to have the exact play practice squad because you can't bring veterans on your team in the practice squad uh, in Madden. The, the, the game just don't, doesn't let you do that. When you look at uh, the settings here, the key part is this right here. You want to enable human trading only. Do not allow the CPU to trade because when you advance, if you keep this to all trading, the CPU will start messing with that. The other thing you want to do here to kind of ensure you can get the trades that you want is just set it up to very easy, no concerns there. For the sims to be done correctly, you want to turn off the injuries on uh, practice as well as the regular one. I always turn off progressive fatigue, that's just something that I do in general too because it's kind of trash, okay? So you always want to make sure you're getting that done. Turning off all the injuries uh, there, trading enable human only, okay? Now how did I get all the trades to get moved over as far as picks in order to do that you have to start with a team that you know just pick any team that you want to start with that had an initial trade the bills for example had a trade right they had razul douglas and in razul doug in uh razul douglas's uh trade there were some picks involved so the bills gave up a fifth and then i think the packers gave up a sixth with it so what you're gonna do there is you're gonna initiate it so that the the you know the packers get that and because you have the 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 more high valued pick you always i always go to the team that had the hot more high valued pick to ensure the trade will be done easily easier and then the trade gets activated now i'm done with the bills Razu douglas is on the bills so that one's done now what i do is i click retire do not click retire from league you click create a new character when you do that all you got to do is pick the next team that you'd like to initiate the trades on and uh let's say for example and start with the niners first for example okay so we pick the niners now this is your choice i chose not to give the niners up their third round pick because they only gave up a comp pick which the madden doesn't have comp picks so you can do this and initiate the trade if you want the commanders to have that third round pick but that was a comp pick it actually wasn't their official pick and then from that point you just go ahead and keep initiating these trades you just keep going to retire you press the trades you get them done and then you go to retire again you go to the next team initiate the trades again because the players are in the right spot now it's all about just making sure that you're just moving the picks around so that's what i had to do there in order to get those picks before i moved on to the regular season 
um, and, and kind of took care of that. So I went down the line for any of the trades that occurred this year after the start of the season. There wasn't too many. And here's my thing. Like, I actually didn't do them all. Like, for example, J.C. Jackson came over to the Patriots, back from the Chargers. They flipped picks, swapped picks, all that crap. I only did the ones that recently happened during the tra- trade deadline because I felt those were pretty impactful. Like the uh, Bears giving up a, a very high-valued second-round pick for Montez Sweat. Some of, some of the ones that just recently happened. My Giants getting a second-round pick from the Seahawks and a future fifth-round pick for Leonard Williams. So those are like those are examples of how I did this. I went uh, because there's the most up to date roster. All you got to do is swap the picks. So if you want to do that before you set up the draft, that's how you get that part done. So um, my hope is that this helped you all out. Uh, I, I could, it was a lot of work. It took me about maybe maybe about an hour or so to kind of get the, the simulations done. But the trading took maybe about 30 minutes, just going from retire to new character, about an hour and a half, maybe all together. But if that's what it's going to take to get us to this point, that's what I did. Um, for me, it was a it was a bigger deal to just get it more accurate than it was to um, wait for EA to get it done for you. So like I said, you're not going to have your exact practice squad. It is what it is there are not going to have the correct stats, but you will get the correct record and you have the ability to make the trades to get all the right picks in the right spot. So I hope that helps you all. Um, like I said, if you can drop a like, that would help me out quite a bit. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And most importantly, subscribe to keep up uh, with my uh, channel. So I appreciate your time today, everyone. Y'all have yourself a good one.